bitches, it's your girl, Massimo Cat, aka D, and how y'all lovely freaks doing today? Let me uh, just go into a little background on how this video came to be. I was watching uh, a vlog by a YouTuber I watch every so often, and they mentioned uh, mystery boxes, uh, specifically on eBay, and they talked about how it became and it's starting to become a trend lately. And I was kind of interested, so I was like, hmm, I wonder what these unboxing videos are like. Because they were actually interested in doing one later on. Uh, but they're super expensive. Like, you're buying a $100 box, and you don't know what the hell is in it. So I watched a few... <laughs> I, w I was watching a few videos of these. So basically the premise is that on eBay, there are these mystery bags or mystery boxes. And you're basically buying a box that you don't know what is in it. Sometimes they'll give you like a theme, but you don't know what you're buying. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, and sometimes they are overly priced, like a hundred bucks for a mystery box, and it could be absolute junk. So that's kind of like, it's kind of like a gamble. And it is an interesting concept for a video. So I watched these videos, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Maybe I'll do one in the near future. I went on to Etsy. I didn't go on eBay. I went on Etsy because I really like the sites. They have a lot of good products. It definitely is a good site if you are someone who's interested in creating t-shirts or pins or anything of the sorts and you want to sell them. Etsy is great for that. The only downside I don't like is the majority of things you pay for shipping. So even though it says it's five bucks, it probably ends up being seven or something of the sorts. But I went on, I opened up the app, and they recommended me a mystery bag. And I was like, well, I guess I'm getting one then. I just love how I'm watching these videos, and then a completely different app is like, hey, let's recommend you this mystery bag, because you totally weren't watching mystery um, unboxing uh, just now. Totally coincidence. Totally a coincidence. Totally. Um, so, here it is. It actually arrived in just a few days, which is nice. And uh, let me let me see what the name of the company was. One sec. So, I cannot... <laughs> I can't, I can't pronounce this name, but the shop's name is, I think it's Kuehl? Cool or Kuehl? I'll put the name right here. And I've actually looked at their products. I didn't even realize that. But I've actually looked at some of their products in the past, and I'm going to show, like, a few things they've created. They are basically a jewelry shop that does alternative style, like, um you know, pastel, goth, uh, gothic, and, you know, just alternative jewelry for, you know, alternative people. And I got a mystery grab bag, and it says it's a grunge jewelry, it's a grunge, is that seriously how you spell grunge? Never knew that. Grunge jewelry grab bag, and it's an alternative lucky dip. And they asked, it was around... Fifteen dollars, I believe. It was eleven bucks, but shipping was around three or four bucks. But they asked if you wanted earrings. I said yes, because I don't mind some earrings. And I think it comes with... Each bag contains three pieces of discontinued and or unreleased jewelry. And that, to me, sounds interesting. So, I ordered it. Within a few days, I got it, and now we're going to open it. I'm honestly curious and excited to see what I got. 15 bucks for three pair for three pairs of jewelry, and seeing the, qu the quality of their jewelry, I'm excited. I think it was worth the $15. So, let's, let's open this bad boy. This has been in my 
uh, I've, I've had this unopened for a while now, and I was like, I really want to open it. Dude! Authentic! It gave me a packet of tea! Dude! That... Our, del our delicate green tea with a tropical flair. So this is green tea with mango. Look at that. Oh my god. I did I <laughs> that, that is sweet. That that's cute. I did not I swear to god, I did not expect that. I don't even think it said it comes with tea. That, that that's cute. So here is their card. And they spelled my name wrong. Oh, oh my god, they all... <laughs> so, here's a little fun fact. Uh, my nickname is Deed. That's not my actual name. Uh, the reason why I don't want people to know my actual name is because I know it's just going to give people problems. I, I have people always misspell it and always mispronounce it. It's annoying. So I just say, fuck it, just refer to me as Deed. Pretty easy. But I think on Etsy, I actually have my actual name. And oh my god, they, s <sighs> they spelled it wrong. Even though it's spelled correctly on my account, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, oh, they have, they have a Facebook, they have an email, obviously. But they also have an Instagram. I should totally follow them on Instagram. Uh, get 10% off your order. Oh, they gave me a little code. A little coupon code for 10% off. Nice. I love coupon codes. And they say good energy. Oh. I totally... I was gonna show you guys what it shows on the card, but it has the code on it, so I was like, mmm. I would literally just give away. I covered my name, but I didn't cover the code, and it's, that's, I'm editing that out, obviously, but that was fucking stupid. I'm glad these are recorded and not live, because then the, my code would totally be taken. I don't know if it's like, anyone can use it, or is it like, a code that anyone, I don't know. But anyways... Here are the three pieces of jewelry. They aren't wrapped, but, you know, oh well. So, here are the three pieces. So, I don't know if one of them comes with a pair of earrings, or, because, I guess one of them's a pair of earrings and the other two are necklaces. So, I guess if you don't want a pair of earrings, they're just going to give you an extra necklace. I don't know. Anyways. Let's open these. So excited. I honestly love unboxing videos. Let me know if you guys enjoy this, because I certainly am. I'm excited of seeing what I got, because it's a mystery. You don't know what you just bought with your own pair of money. It could be good, it could be bad. I mean, people have opened just junk. But that's, that's eBay. See, Etsy is a little different. That's why I'd rather do, like, mystery bags from Etsy. A little more pricier because I have to pay shipping, but oh my god. Um, I, I, I trust Etsy more than eBay, but look, this is the pair of earrings. These are the pair of earrings that I got. Look at that. Oh, I needed a pair of dangly earrings, honestly. These are beautiful. Oh, I love pentacles or pentagrams I love them so much and it's got a little moon it's I love these these are so goddamn cute I will definitely wear these I will definitely wear these I will definitely show them off to see if they look like on me but I love these these are great okay I have to admit it I love these fucking earrings I am so glad 
I got these. I am definitely going to use them. I actually don't own that many pair of dangly earrings, so I'm actually really happy about these. They just look fucking gorgeous. They they look great. I mean, I, I don't wear dangly earrings that often. Also, if you notice, I had to put my hair up to show it show the earrings off more, but I love how they look on me. They look great. I'm definitely gonna put them into use a lot. Definitely. I I I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I have a necklace, like a pentagram necklace that would go great with these, but yeah. Alright, package two. So I guess I get two necklaces and a pair of earrings. I I would definitely check out their shop because they have really good jewelry. I didn't even um I didn't even realize it was them until after I bought it and I was like, hmm, maybe that's why it was recommended to me. But if they do another one of these, I might purchase it again. Just for the hell of it. Wrap. There we go. Alright. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. I like it. A little bit different from my style. So, this looks like, this is obviously a necklace. It's, it's a little cat. Kind of reminds me of Egyptian style, the cat at least, and it's got a little red gemstone on it. Very cute. I don't know, like, it has necklaces around, so it really reminds me of like Egyp Egyptian style looking, like, art canvas pieces. You know what I'm talking about. Like a Sphinx, I think is what they're called. Oh, that's adorable. I like it. I really enjoy this necklace. Cats are actually one of my favorite animals, and this necklace would is definitely a casual looking one. Like it would go great with a casual outfit. And if if I ever felt like throwing on like just oh like extra piece of jewelry, like just something to wear, I would definitely throw on this necklace. This necklace would be perfect to like top off an outfit, just for like the one piece of jewelry. But yeah. I wonder if they do- I think they do chokers, but I think it's specifically necklaces. That's... that's cool. I will- I will wear these. I- I will definitely wear these, so... Yeah. Probably gonna show what it looks like on me again. Tape is stuck to me, bad man. I thought they were gonna co I don't know why, but I imagine them coming in a cute little baggie, because sometimes when I buy jewelry online, they come in this little bad, little black baggie with the string to tighten it. But nope, it just came in the package, which is fine. I just, I don't know why I expected it. I didn't expect the tea. The tea was a cute little treat. I love this. This is so cute. Like, <laughs> thank you for the free tea. I will definitely drink it on a special occasion of some sort, but yeah. Alright, last, last one. This is pretty, this is going to be a pretty short video, but, oh well. Oh my god. I'm happy. This is a little crystal necklace, and honestly, I've been wanting a crystal necklace forever. It's a little blue one. I actually like the color blue. Like, blue was like my main color uh, growing up, but later on I started liking like dark colors, like black and gray and red. Like, blue and black is a good combo, but I, I've, I've seen a lot of crystal necklaces on Etsy, and I was really interested in getting one, so now I have one. It's really pretty. I will definitely wear this someday. Maybe right now, I don't know. <laughs> But I love it. It's a very nice color. Like how it's like transparency and stuff, but that's how crystals usually are. But I'm happy. I really like the color of the crystal. Uh, the light the light bluish is actually really nice. 
and I'm very happy that I own a crystal necklace. I don't know what it is about crystal necklaces, but they're very pretty, and I'm really glad I own one. I'm probably gonna get more, but it's, it's a bit longer than the cat necklace, but I really like it. I like the chain on it, and it would definitely go great with either a with both a casual or like maybe a fancy-ish outfit, but it's a crystal necklace. It's it's pretty regardless, so. All right, those were the three, and honestly, I didn't expect this. I mean, I guess it is kind of alternative-like. Um, it's not exactly gothic. I think the earrings are definitely kind of like gothic, witchy-esque, but I definitely love the earrings. Um, I think the earrings are my most favorite. I don't know. Well, what, what's your favorite piece? Uh, was it the necklaces? I definitely like the cat one. The cat one's cute. Um, which, which, which piece did you like? Would you, would you order a mystery bag? I know I would. Because I did. That's the point of this video. Uh, duh. But... I, this is actually a good experience. Um, it's short because it was only three items with a bonus tea bag. I can't get over the tea. That is just so sweet. Just giving someone a little bag of tea. And also a coupon code, which I will definitely use on a piece of jewelry that I find in the shop. But definitely check out their shop. They have some good jewelry. If you're interested in like alternative you know, jewelry type stuff, it's a little pricey because of how Etsy is, but I think it's worth it because they definitely have good quality and I really like their jewelry, but I give this five stars, definitely five stars. I would definitely buy one of these again, so if you are interested in me doing more mystery bags or mystery boxes, let me know and I might get some more from either Etsy or maybe try eBay. eBay is definitely sketchy because they can just do whatever. But Etsy, you at least know what you're getting. Like they will actually like tell you these are the items you might get. So I trust Etsy a little more, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little risky move and try eBay. Don't know yet. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun to make. It was short, but I, I had fun, actually. I don't know, just, it's like you bought yourself a present. You don't know what you're getting, but you bought it anyways, so you might like it or you might not. But I think the best part is just the experience on what you're getting. Um, I know a lot of shops do mystery bags. I know some gothic shops I follow, and they do mystery bags. So you don't know what you're getting, but I don't know. I can see why people do these videos. They're fun. And I think it's fun for the audience too because they're like, ooh, what are they going to get? Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be garbage? What is it going to be? Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Are you interested in another mystery unboxing? I honestly kind of am because um, they're kind of fun to do. But I'll be seeing you lovely freaks later. Bye! Love you. I fucking hate, fucking hate all of this dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking synth pop, fucking gothic glow sticks, fucking synth pop, fucking EDM, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate all of this dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking hate, fucking dark dance music. I fucking hate, fucking synth pop, fucking gothic glow sticks, fucking.